So here's a story you'll hear nowhere else because this hasn't been reported. And I just basically formulated this. I'm going to tell you about it tonight. I'd like to hear your feedback. There is a new subculture in America. It's been on the rise now for about a decade, about 10 years. Um, It's comprised of people, mainly poor, who live in the big cities, who have no interest in human life or their country. Okay, we've always had these people. But as I said earlier, society was able to contain them, to at least to some extent. If you read my book, Killing the Mob, you see how America did contain the worst elements of criminality. But now it's different. So this subculture is raised in an environment where nothing matters. School doesn't matter. Church doesn't matter. Respect for parents don't matter. Nothing matters. They get out, mainly young boys, into their teens, and they join gangs of like-minded people. They take drugs. They consume rap music around the clock, vile rap. This rap stuff has eroded values in the poor community worse than anything in American history, that vile rap industry. These kids got the headphones on. This hate is pouring into them. This is what they listen to constantly. All right, no parental supervision. Parents don't care for whatever reason. So this subculture is out. There are hundreds of thousands of these people now. You combine them with the anarchists, the Antifas, the communists, you combine the two and you have the perfect storm of anarchy, criminal anarchy. You can't reason with these kids. You can't bring them back. Maybe intense therapy could help some of them. They infect the public school system. They attack fellow kids. They spit in the face of teachers. They laugh at police officers. They will shoot you dead for no reason. Hundreds of thousands of these people are roaming the streets of America, and no one is dealing with it. You think about that. That's the reality here in New York City, where I am in Los Angeles, in Chicago, and every other major city in the country. You can see them take a ride in the poorer neighborhoods. You'll see them standing there. Don't get out of the car. You'll get hurt because they know if they hurt you, nothing will happen to them. And they don't have a feeling for human beings for life in their entire body. That's the truth. That's what's happened in America, thanks to progressive policies. 